All right, here's the deal. Programming, it's not just about picking a language or cramming syntax. It's about choosing how your brain operates. I'm not talking tools. I'm talking thought architecture. And that's where programming paradigms come in. Most devs, they dip their toes into maybe one or two and think they've seen the ocean. That's like saying you understand music because you've heard one Drake song. Let's tear through this. First up, OOP. Yeah, object-oriented programming. The overhyped poster child of tutorials. Floating above the iceberg with a big shiny sign saying, start here. Cool concept. You model stuff as objects. A car has speed, color, and methods like accelerate or brake. Sounds tidy, right? Until you're buried under classes like abstract singleton factory car manager, and no one knows where the app even begins. Inheritance trees grow into jungles, states mutate like radioactive sludge, and your stack trace starts reading like Shakespeare had a stroke. But okay, OOP has its perks. Helps structure large systems, humans like thinking in objects. Just don't go full design pattern evangelist on your grocery list app. Chill. Now slide down the iceberg. Functional programming. Here, it's all about pure functions, no side effects, and immutability. You don't change data, you transform it. You're not looping, you're mapping, reducing, filtering like it's a BuzzFeed quiz for nerds. Languages like Haskell and Elixir built for this. But even JavaScript and Python sneak in FP features now. It's smart, it's clean, it's testable. But warning, you will stare at a reduce for three hours wondering if you accidentally summoned a demon. And forget mutating variables, everything is frozen. Want to update a value? Nope. Create a new version of it and cry. Then there's procedural programming. The OG. This is what your programming ancestors wrote in C, basic, Pascal. No classes, no objects, just do this, now do that, now loop, done. It's clear, it's fast, it's direct. Perfect for small tasks, quick hacks, and anyone who doesn't want their brain turning into spaghetti from over-engineering a calculator. And guess what? Everyone writes procedural code, even if they don't call it that. Now let's dig deeper. Logic programming. This flips everything on its head. Instead of giving step-by-step -step instructions, you declare facts, rules, and let the system infer the answers. Socrates is a man. All men are mortal. Is Socrates mortal? Boom. Yes. That's it. You're not writing a program. You're programming a brain. Used in AI, theorem proving, and niche domains. Rare in CRUD apps. But it rebuilds the way you think about problem solving. And now, we descend into the weird zone. Concatenative programming. Yeah, that's a word. This one's used in languages like Fourth and Factor. You probably haven't touched it unless you accidentally installed it while drunk on GitHub. Everything here is a function. No variables, no assignments. You just toss things onto a stack and manipulate it. It's alien looking, no lie, but also bizarrely beautiful. So yeah, programming paradigms aren't just styles, they're operating systems for your brain. And the more you explore, the sharper you get. Don't be the dev who only knows OOP and calls it a day. Go deeper, break your brain, rewire it, learn to think in code, not just type it.